the irony here, though, is um, Radio Mambi. And um, the interesting comments of uh, Congressman Soto is that it paints Radio Mambi all of a sudden as an extremist station. And as Jorge described today, the creation of Radio Mambi, its driving mission for over 40, 50 years has been the freedom of Cuba. I don't know when the freedom of Cuba became an extremist topic. Radio Mambi had opened their doors and continuously has opened their doors to every single person, whether Democrat, Independent, or Republican, <coughs> that had uh, joined in solidarity the freedom of Cuba. That has been the mission of Radio Mambi. To label Radio Mambi as an extremist radio station is a slap in the face to the Cuban American community. And then there lies the problem. I'm offended. I'm offended by Cuban Americans participating in this purchase. I'm offended by the fact that Cuban Americans have somehow or another tried to legitimize and try to insert themselves in this purchase when they know full well, full well, the pain of the Cuban American community. And that should be noted. That should be noted that, you know, if we're gonna have Uncle Tom's working in this space against the cause of free Cuba, then count me out because I'm not involved in any of that stuff and I think that we need to stand firm, firm against those that wanna sell out 60 years worth of struggle to see a free Cuba.